Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok map. As I said last time, I shall build my base and then we shall be back. Um, the thing is I got a bit carried away. Ta-da! Our new base. It is big and awesome and amazing and every nice word you can think of right so for the grand tour this is a tree that I made planted on that little island made a platform for some turrets eventually to defend the bay the outer shell is basically walled off with XL walls the, the highest walls possible and for the waterfall here is not necessary but it is nice to have. I made some, um, well, not gates, they're barred walls, so to speak, uh, I guess, just to to let off the water basically through, more or less. At least that's the idea, because it would have looked kind of bad if I had wall blocking off the the waterfall, but then the water would still flow through, so, you know. I made those to make it look more plausible. Over here I have a natural redwood tree that I made a glass platform so you can actually walk on this platform even though it looks trippy. Looks like it will fall you will fall through. Even with your character you can still walk, it's glass everywhere. And all my flyers, including the new Quetzal and if I can show you it's it was, I think it was 580 or something like that when I tamed it. Um, all my flyers are resting. I have a feeding trough. Oh, I also tamed two RGs, XRGs. Uh, they were uh, max level, I believe, 600. Uh, one of them is a female and one is a male. I think I had one more, maybe. I don't know what I did with it. Or I had three owls. Um, I couldn't find any owls for the life of me. I found a 120 or something like this and I tamed it uh, just to have an owl but then I couldn't find any owls on anywhere on the map and I spent hours looking. So I did a, a dino wipe, cleaned all the map of massive spawns of drakes everywhere and uh, then I got lucky and they spawned well one of them spawned and then the other one in succession but they were both max level 600 owls and one of them is uh, male and one of them is female so we can mate them if we want and uh, that's the only high level quetzal I found there were a lot of them but they were very small level um, this uh, refrigerated trough has all the food and you, you can balance the food between them because I have more than one. I won't do that because I have some uh, spoiled meat uh, for the scorpions in their pen so I don't want to uh, balance that. But it will automatically feed the creatures here. This will collect poop and with some thatch, no more thatch, I need to pull some thatch. If I pull some thatch it will make fertilizer. Now I don't know why it takes so long and it splits one apart anyway. It long story. Eventually it does some fertilizer. It's not that fast, but you know, better than nothing. And to power them because I'm out of uh, out of range of my uh, Uber wireless generator. I did some solar panels. I, I don't think you need so many. I made like five, I believe, or six. But uh, I just hooked them up uh, in a series, one to another. That's a straight cable into a flexible one, straight cable to flexible one, straight to flexible, so forth. And then connected in an outlet just to power this. I don't think you need so many solar panels, but you know, eh, works. And yeah, this is the glass platform. 
It is extended with some triangles, so it's not so big when you place it, but you know, it's worth it. Now the water pen is basically just two beh behemoth gates and uh, some pillars so, you know, creatures can't go right through. The smaller ones, like fish and stuff like that, they might be able to swim through, but I only care about the predators and those are usually small. I have a small dock for a boat or something, even though I can't go anywhere with the boat on the river, but you know, if you want to fish or something. Those shiny things are teleporters. Well, not teleporters, they're um, elevators. Basically, if I want to go to the dock, and let's say I want to go all the way up, here's like some stairs and ladders to climb out of the water in case you're desperate. Ladders are kind of annoying to grab onto, but you know, you can. So you can go all the way to the stairs using the stairs or press space and voila, you're at the top. See? Nice and dandy. Some salmon. And best thing about it, if you look down, you can actually see through the teleport, the elevator. It's kind of a see-through. So that's nice. Now, if you want to go from here to the base, you got another one. Pam pam, and again, press space, and you're at the main base. Now I'll get to the main base in a second, but I want to show you the outside first. So, my Bronto, you know that one, wall or all around the base, and this is a taming pen. Um, it's how I tame the Argentavises and the Owls, because my dragon can actually grab them, including the Quetzal. I can grab the Quetzal with the dragon, and I can just bring it here, put it inside, and tame it in here in relative safety today. Thank you. Uh, how do you put it in, you ask? Well, you have this. It's a behemoth ha uh, trap door. You come over here, open the doors. Sometimes they open outdoor outwards, sometimes they open inward. I usually put it as automatic because once you get through it, you need to close it quickly, but I got lucky so far. It's not really perfect, but it is better than nothing. And yeah, that's the taming pin. Like I said, the wall is all around the base with some gates from time to time in uh, key points where you might want to exit or bring dinos in. Like here, for example, that this looks like a path that you might want to take, so I figured I'll build a gate. Although I can probably pick up any dino and just bring it in the base by flying, but you know, it's nice to have in case something goes wrong. Here I'm touching the snow biome, again, more gates, and then it goes all the way to the cliff to avoid creatures from getting inside my pen, because the wall connects with the pen, the water wall. So yeah, this platform is, like I said, for some defense turrets or something, I don't know, but it's nice to have. This is the main um, building for my dinos. This is where I have my utility creatures, like the scorpions, the bear, the stone, metal, and I also tamed the beaver. So we had wood, wood stuff now. The 
X Allosaurus that I tamed. The Stegosaurus for generic harvesting. More like, uh, you know, it's you can change his settings and it will harvest wood or berries or stuff like that. So it's quite nice. The trike that I don't particularly use and it has a bug that it's, uh, I mean, you saw me tame it, but for some reason the saddle doesn't show. Even if I take it off and I put it back on, it still won't show. And it happened after I teleported him once, so I don't know. And I also tamed the Baryonyx, which is very cool underwater because it doesn't need to breathe. And it's quite powerful with its whip attack. It does a sp spin uh, with its tail and it kind of um, knocks or dis disorientates enemies. And I also tamed a Carno because it was high level and, you know, why not? It's, uh, I think it was 580 or something like that. Oh yeah. And the rest you know. So this is my house for the random teams that I have. Now for the big teams, I made these entrances underneath. It's pretty much just the cliff itself, but you could potentially store some tames in there like I did here for example they don't fit very well but you know better than nothing I got two spinos a female and a male I don't know if they'll mate because that one is a Nox spino but they're amazing especially in the water so why not and this one is empty but this is the largest one I think yeah I'm saving this for a giga or something the Bronto is too large for me to store anywhere, so I didn't make a, a home for him because, you know, it's way too much material for one dino. He can't stay outside, I'm sorry, but, you know, things happen. I eh, didn't mean to hit you, my friend. I don't lose too much health. Alright, this teleporter is identical but ta -da, you can teleport dinos so if I want to I can bring the dinos from my pen there up here quickly and easy now for the base itself it has five entrance or six actually there's two on each side for you know humans to enter and then one big gate for dinos to enter for example, my sleepy head, I put him here and he usually just curls up in that corner during the day and sleeps away. But during the night he's awake. So, let's start from the left. Um, actually from the right. I have some houses on the left. The gachas are just chilling out here. They're Crystals, once they give off some, they're, connect, they're collected by a gacha collector inside the house. I'll show you in a second. I have a small pen here for, you know, farm an animals like sheep. When it's raining, you, if you go here, you enter the snow biome, so the rain turns into snow. That's why the noise. And... You enter through one of these doors. I have the uh, grinder, the fabricator, the smithicator from uh, automated arc, and a repair station, an improvement station. Basic. You can use this one to upgrade anything to ascend, ascend, ascendant. So I upgraded my tools and my armor. It's not the best armor, but it's the best looking one my opinion well that I have access to besides tech um, chemistry station you know crafting stuff I made a cryo fridge uh, I also have three of them inside I'll show you how I made them without using a tech replicator um, polymer transmuter it basically changes types of polymer from one to another so in case you have some weird polymer that you don't 
need or use. You can just make all of them in the same type. Some forges. This is from the keep forge. It makes a lot of stone at once. Uh, a lot of stone. A lot of metal at once. I also have a lot of gas that I made. Another forge. Um, this is the Uber generator. Well, it's not the actual Uber generator. It's I call it Uber, but it actually is an Uber generator in game. But no, it's not. It's just a wireless generator from Automated Arc. Another feeding trough for this place will be used as the main entrance here and the main room here will be used for um, uh, incubating eggs. And this is an incubator. Once I activate it, it does everything that it needs to to incubate the eggs. It will chill them or heat them up. Basically, it will make sure that they can incubate. Over here, there's another room where I have some um, um, structures from uh, medieval buildings, medieval structures, medieval st stuff. It's a mod that basically allows you this. This is where you make uh, concrete and plaster, and this is where you make most of the stuff. And then you have specialized uh, crafting benches for, uh, this is like wood tier, this is stone tier, and this is uh, thatch tier, I think. Oh no, concrete, plaster tier, so it's like concrete or something like that. And then you have another one for roof stuff, and another one for banners and signs and uh, canopies and stuff like that. They're quite awesome, but I don't have cans of stain and I didn't have the patience to look it up how to make some. So this is a medical station. I don't have any... Oh, I forgot to put the wall back. All right, I'll show you in a second. But anyway, this is a medical station. I don't have any blood ba uh, bags or whatever you need to put inside you healing brews. But anyway, in case I have a dino that's massively hurt and you need it, you can just park him right here, give him some healing brews, and it will heal your dinos. Um, yeah, the, the 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 side rooms here they're divided in two floors without a door because I figure it it's too high for no purpose. And as you can see, I have a little view or entrance here because I can always jump over and you can go to the top floor which is my bedroom or I don't know a bedroom guest room whatever everybody anybody can sleep here have a carpet and a table for two people there and then a nice bed and you have a lounge chair that I apparently want to use but my feet are not stretched for some reason I don't know it did let me stay on the lounge with my feet up but I don't know for some reason it doesn't do it now at the same time I have some bare wannabe skins here for the chimney in case you want to lay down and enjoy the chimney and some medical beds. They're not medical beds officially, but I like to call them like I call I like to call them that they're medical beds because they look like some. But you can still respawn on on any of them. This is actually a functional storage for chest, and you also have each individual guy here has its own storage in a trunk or a suitcase. This is a mini bar with some chairs stools you can relax have a drink bench you know stuff like that dormitory these are mannequins moving mannequins actually that you can store armor on so whenever you want to swap it you can just get the other armor as you can see leather chitin fur um i think this is the uh riot and then the metal armor. I think the metal armor is the best, but you know, whatever. I have some trophies on the wall, a war map, or a map. 
This is from um, the AA Automation, the console that does pretty much everything with sorting, but um, uh, I like S plus sorting system, so I don't want to fiddle too much with it. I just needed to use it for something. This will automatically collect crystals if you drop them on the ground. This is for paint. I will automatically collect them. This is where all my skins and stuff and artifacts are stored and some other stuff here's the storage for the moment uh, this needs to be set to generic I was testing something yeah it did collect stop pickup so everything should go in here everything that's uh, a resource basically including the talents of drakes and stuff they are considered uh, resources so all the resources that I have are stored in here and you can throw them anywhere in its range and it will pick them up automatically. These are fabricated resources, so you know stuff that you make out of the basic resources. The others are stopped, they're not picking up. I will turn them on once this is full and it's 122 out of 300 so it's not nearly full. This is a oil storage but it's not pretty much used now this is for blueprints uh, again automatically pick up so you have some blueprints that you don't need in your inventory you just drop them off like so and they'll automatically get picked up by their proper storage this is for ammo actually I want to leave some of these and saddles structures I'll have a lot of leftover structures that I tried to use or didn't use or overproduced uh, armor and guns so all the guns will be picked up in here next we have a random storage for crap or whatever leftovers that you don't need you also have a very nifty storage on the wall here that you can place anywhere this is the veggie crate for some reason it has a very nice and long durability uh, increases the spoil time by a massive amount compared to the barrels here these are automatically picking up the berries but if I have time and I remember I try to put them here because they have a longer spoil time this will automatically pick up seeds and for some reason seeds have a spoil time now and this is picking up fruit uh, fruit and vegetables but I have none yet uh, for the moment because they're all in the veggie crate right this is the kitchen um, a chimney cooking or just warming up this is for spoiling meat really really fast um, industrial cooker a grill the I think this is the industrial cooker. Yeah, sorry. That's the industrial grill or something. Yeah. This is another grill version from AA. Some water that I brought. You can't see the cables because they're hidden, the, the pipes, but they're brought all the way over from the water and uh, next to the water pan. Some kitchen counters with some decoration on top just to make it feel like uh, it's a bit more lively or more usable let's say just some random stuff to populate the kitchen um, a fridge that is empty at the moment because I'm using the other one actually the the fridge and the freezer they're two separate components and the freezer has all my low-level eggs that I collected over over time and their spoil time as you can see is 634 years because the seconds don't seem to be moving so I'm assuming that's minutes that's minutes hours days years so yeah quite a long time for the top one even more ridiculous uh, the milk here for example it spoils faster so that's minutes hours days so one day it will spoil 
but if I put it down there, it's going to be a little bit less. But anyway, so the freezer does keep st stuff uh, even longer. Also, in the freezer, I have some eggs that I'm planning to incubate. Well, not in uh, yeah, incubate, you know, hatch. Because I have a Ridgeback Dragon that's level 8,640. Uh, 1,200. A Iron Belly Dragon that's 960. So this one is not going to be so mm, great. Because Iron Belly is the one that we have, the Draconic. But, um, yeah, it's 960, you know. Not bad. Fireball Dragon 120, 1280. A Fireball Dragon that is 8320. A Magma Sword, this is the highest level that I found. I couldn't get any higher of those more than this. I found lower levels. Like 80 and 80. But 220 was the highest one that I could find. A Noxious Wyvern Egg, and I believe it's a electricity one from the color of the egg, and that's 5,400. <laughs> a uh, Noxious Wyvern Egg, which I believe is a dragon one, a level 700. And this is the only Rock Drake that I found, but I can look for another one, it's not a problem. And Viper Tooth Wyvern, I'm assuming that's some kind of Noxious creature. Level 400 and 1000. This is a wyvern egg, regular egg, and that's pretty much it. I have some wyvern milk and some dragon milk from my female dragon up there. So, this is the house. Or the, oh no, I actually didn't show you the top floor. The top floor is empty, it's just like an attic. I was thinking of putting storage in here in case I ever need more storage. It also has some um, nice, you know, Trap doors and sloped so you can get on the roof. I uh, also have the same thing over here. If you want to land your flyer or yourself, you land on top of the house and you go down through the trap door, closes back up, and you're inside. And th oh no, I have, yeah, this side. This is the production side. So on the other side was the dormitory and crafting and stuff for decorations here I have basically everything that produces something at least I try to have everything in case I missed something yeah I'll place it later this is a extinction bench so you can convert element and resources from extinction just in case you need it for crafting stuff also this is where I made the cryopod thing see you could make cryopods so you don't need uh, the tech replicator yet. This is a tech bench. Uh, again, you can make tech armor and stuff. I don't have any tech element. I mean element, but you know, you can still make them. It's nice. Uh, this is from uh, Stargate mod. It, it's a helmet. That you want to look like uh, Jaffa. But anyway, um, I like Stargate, so it, when I saw it, I'll, you know, figured I'll try and see what it does. It has some medical kits and stuff. It also gives you this uh, gold, which I struggled to find where to make. Apparently, is in the Lantian Fabricator, so. Yeah. Um, see, this is where you make gold directly from ore. And zero point energy, that's a, a ZPM, I think. Anyway, I didn't have enough time to uh, immerse myself in the mod. I just wanted to make some gold for those lamps out, out in the front. This is the basic smith, uh, smithy. This is the MRAD smithy. This is where you make the behemoth cement type of gates and stuff if you want to go industrial looking like they're also massive they're quite big and they're amazing i mean you can make some pretty cool bases with the gates and the walls um this is the s crafting station it, it's like a smithy it can do anything that a s plus has 
This is a pearl converter. If you have white pearls, you can turn them into black pearls. And the other three are just regular mortar and pestles. I think one of them should have some... Yeah, one of them in theory has all, everything it needs to make some cementing paste. I don't know why it stops, to be honest. But anyway, this is a solar panel crafting station. This is where you make the solar panels, obviously. Here you can convert stuff from aberration, for example, um, element ore. You can make it out of pearls, as you can see over there, in uh, ingredients. You can turn rare mush mushrooms into fungal wood, uh, crystal into any of the um, aberration gems, you know, rare mushrooms into any other kind of rare mushrooms. This is a plant species Z that you can make. More rare mushrooms, a aberration gas collector, and aberration charge notes. Just to have them. Uh, you make lights. It's a light construction table, so basically any kind of light you you want, you can make them. This is where I made my lamp. Handheld, I made this one. You can also have like a stick, but you know, I like the miners type of lamp. I wanted to go with this one, but eh, a bit more techy, as you can see. Looks a bit nicer. And moving forward, this is where you make better tools. You can convert anything that's vanilla into S+. Um, this is just some bathroom and kitchen decoration, I believe. Yeah. Uh, this is where you make corals, if you want to... I, I was planning on making our bay a bit more lifelike with some corals and stuff, but I just didn't have enough time. You can make bushes, uh, even crops if you want, you know, good looking stuff. Um, plants like flowers, snowy flowers and plants, you know, rocks, snowy rocks, and trees. All kinds of trees, including the ones that show up with some kind of fruit in it and it's quite nice this is a uh, um, gardening station which it can theoretically make any seed that you have in aberration I believe or something like that or no this is a silk bush you can't grow silk but you can make it here sap you can't grow but you can make it here and so forth anyway the point is um, you can make seeds from what you can sow and it also works if you put it on a on a water pipe it also works as a irrigation thing and this is the one that I made the red tree, the big snappable red tree wood, red wood tree, you can make some saps if you want from here, sap, uh, tree saps and the platform that snaps onto the artificial type of tree, metal or wood, this is the main crafting station for the uh, masonry table, this is where I made the majority of the um, things for my base everything mostly was in here like the gates for the waterfall and some windows and doors and hatches and everything that you can think of it's in here or everything that you see in my base it's in here including the forge as you can see yeah this is the wood version, basically, I think. No, this is the thatch version. This is the wood version. Yeah. So it's the same thing, but that's stone, and I used stone pretty much. This is a medieval table where you can make cool stuff for the medieval structures that I did not 
move to the other side, which I should have, but I forgot. This is where I made the stool and the fence and stuff like the dummies. For docks, if you want to make a dock out of it, it's quite nice, but the water is too deep for my case. This is where I made all the stuff that I put in the kitchen, 